all right good evening good afternoon good morning and welcome to the stream today more stationeers ben will be joining us in about an hour but in the meantime you have to contend with my mediocrity um i'm gonna check audio here in a sec as soon as the computer lets me because evidently stationeers is taking focus on my mouse and i can't get it back until it's done doing what it's doing bad timing all right finally all right let's uh check audio here real quick make sure it's doing audio stuff sounds like it's audio working all right then we're gonna do this and then we're gonna go to the game all right all right so we are on part 40 so this in that works okay Ski. Well, there's Ben. All right, so everything works. So let's do a save as part 40. All right, that's done. Sweet. So I was working on um, some passive stuff. So with the sun out, temperature here is a little warm not that bad but a little so i'm gonna do i've got this all set up i just need to put some logic in place so i think what i'm gonna do is grab some of these Take the whole room some working room more what I can do, is do a little oh I don't have a battery hmm. all right do I have a battery charger here I do and there's no batteries in there all right This ah, that's where the battery goes. That's the battery for that. This actually there we go. There we go. <clears throat> this is the battery charger. Um, all right, let's... <clears throat> Do you have any steel sheets or Make some. Just got that work and I'm throwing it away. <clears throat> hey, Jerry. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. Good morning, Jerry. How you doing? It is Sunday on the moon. E yes, it is. So we have an 
an oxygen atmosphere being pumped in that's already at a temperature. Now, originally this room was about 30 degrees Celsius. And then I brought over more oxygen, but it was actually a very cold oxygen. See? So that did bring the temperature down, but then the room is heating up either because Ben's in there or when the sun comes up, it hits this window, goes over, hits that window, and it raises the temperature. So I'm going to attempt to address the heat. Some simple logic. <sighs> but it's it's always build, 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 then apply working idea. Is, is I'm over here. I have power. I think I'm out of range of that thing. Watching my battery here. It's not going up. It's not going down. Let's see here. Stand in this frame. It goes down. And here doesn't change. And here The, what did I figure out the range was? One, two, three, four, five. There's one, two, five, right? There's one, two, three, four, ah, five. I step right here, my battery should start going down. Uh, busy with my Venus struggle, but I found out how to survive with Cascade air conditioners to cool and recycle O2 177 degrees Celsius from the waste tanks, 19 degrees Celsius. Waste tanks heat up O2 container slowly until your O2 gets to 85. Oh, there you go. Cascade. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so my battery is going down here. All right, so I need to get another... One of those things. Have any? Do. All right. So, if batteries are going down here, so it's supposed to be five squares. One. One, two, three, four, five. Um, get some power over here. Edge two. That's a uh, brilliant, Jerry. Looking for wires.
Okay. Now, um... So we're doing some passive cooling already, so I'm pretty sure it's just going to be four standard chips. I'm going to go make sure we're still doing some mining here and some centrifuging to work. Still 205. So, the passive pulling example that I'm going to go by is here, and this uses the atmosphere in the room, and basically it doesn't recycle it, it just, that's what it uses instead of an external source, and all we're doing is we're reading a sensor. Or, all right, cool. Yeah, I can do that. There's nothing. We have four radiators, but that's uh, we're just gonna try with one radiator. And then it goes to that. All right, so let's see if I can. Uh, so this is site B. Um, Ben's got a couple more things to do over on site A, and then we'll be over here doing stuff. All right, so first of all, do I have a passive vent? Let's see. Um, I do, is it connected? Well, cascade air conditioning is that the waste output of the AC is connected to with the air. Right, so the AC unit, the atmospheric unit, has got a waste. Target the first AC. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. All right. So basically, you're taking the, the output of one, the input, and bringing them down and down. Hey, Electro, good morning. That's all connected. So there is currently very cold, very low. Okay. What happens? Going to Our logic chips. Processor.
Hey, Ben, good morning. That's right. Brains of Operation Ride. Hey, Prime. <laughs> LF18 in there with 65 months resub. Thank you so much, LF18, for that. Appreciate that. Uh, I need a tool. 65 months. Wow. That's a lot of months. That's like 65 months. What am I doing? I have no idea. All right. All right. Um. Guys, give me one quick sec. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry. Now let's make sure I got this wired correctly. Um, that. Wait. That doesn't need to go there. What was I think? Go. Good. Good. And. Excellent. All right. The sensor in here. I don't know what it's called. Let's not figure it out. able to get passive air conditioner work passive condensation and expansion valve seem to be bugged all right let's see here so i need to be looking at a sensor gas sensor sensor gas sensor gas sensor person or temperature oh sweet then we are going to pair logic reader.
greater than memory. So we should get a one. Nice. All right, then. Let's see if this is going to freeze him out. So it's definitely getting warmer in there. Trying to keep it right around 30 degrees Celsius. So then this thing. Uh, it's going to go to. Hang on. What do I want? Visual valve. Let's see. Hey. What? I didn't know what kind of battery I had. Right. We're looking for digital valve passive cooling. Turn it on based upon air. It's turned on. So that should hopefully be working. Okay. Whoa. Okay, that's dangerous. Just fell in my own. Well, it is getting. Yeah, it's working. So that should be staying on. It's too cold with this setup. So this is definitely colder than the room. So there's more pressure because, oh, there was some stuff in the pipe, right? Um, okay, cool. Now I did notice something. So when I was trying to, I don't know how to work this yet, but we're gonna try it. So one of these tanks, this one should have, wait, this one should have stuff in it. Okay, that has nothing. That has it. Okay, this got the water. And this thing. Is that where the power goes? Oh. That's just data. There's no power. doesn't need power. So it doesn't track. You have to... Okay. start doing this um right so that's missing the, it's water tank because this is where we crushed all the ice and i'm hoping i did this right so this pipe should be Turn this off, that off, that, add a whole bunch of nitrogen. 
that. Okay. Easy. Alright. Like walking around with a bomb. Kind of. Then the dump station. Here. experience with the heat exchange is to keep gases at equal levels. Hey Flip, how in the heck are you doing? Sound wore out? No, no, I'm just, I'm still waking up. Uh oh. Oh, we've got a burst pipe. Uh oh, that's not good. Alright, CO2. Does that mean... Oh, okay. Hang on. Emergency. Hang on. Hang on. Panicking. Uh, okay. So let's get rid of that. And place it. Oh, we got a null ref. Oh. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. I think what happened is it got way too warm. Look at that. No, I'm, I'm just, uh, there is one other person in the household that's still asleep, so low volume for about another hour. So, oh, we got another burst. Another CO2 burst. So what happened is, um, I think CO2 got too warm. It's heating up again, too. So, yeah. Um, it, it is. However, in the process of making a couple of ores, I believe he missed his temperature goals or pressure goals and had to redo it a couple of times and dumped a bunch of heat. They're on. That's on, that's open, those are on. Question is, this line right here, it's on. So, uh-oh, there's no pressure. Oh, that's not good. That's why it's getting too warm. Why is our oxygen That's open. That's open. There is no oxygen in snow. Oh, oh, it all leaked out. Okay, hang on. Um. So somehow, <sighs> uh, we run out of all the oxygen. I didn't notice. 
There is oxygen in there. Oxygen in there. That valve's open. But how did how did we get stuff to it? down there somehow the oxygen that was feeding the exchange burst a pipe and lost everything so I have to pump some more back in there <clears throat> which some pipe gas generators on Stairs, get away from me. It's been point. All right. 
All right, my quick fix seems to be working. Where is... That's coming from there. Probably dumped too much into that line. The CO2 temperature drastically reduced. All right, good. So when Ben gets in here, I have to give him an update. Temperature's going up on that one. So on the CO2. We lost all of our CO2, which is fine. We got some pretty warm temperatures here. This stuff is chilling. It's good. Why is this probably has too much pressure in it. It's interesting how it's a, each one is a different network. So does that work like that, or does this have to be connected to the loop? Now, supposedly, there are different networks because radiators uh, use pressure difference to determine how much. Oh, I got you. Okay. Makes sense. So can it be a, does it matter whether it's a loop network or a closed network? I guess it doesn't have to be a loop. All right, it's working. All right. So the gas generator is on telling me that we got low on power. Yep. Got down to 24%. Our new generator room seems to be holding. So, with the sun out, solar panel should be doing a thing. I'm going to go assist. Make sure so. Oh, geez. I adjusted. So my temperature of the O2 is going up. Oh! That's come down. That's really warm. And I can't tell it's going up or down. I blink. Come on. Now, Ben actually was right in the middle of a overflow system for these tanks. Okay, that, that's going down. Nice. This one, however, is also going down. Yeah, all right. Um, but he didn't finish it because we ran out of time. I'm going to go over here and throw our backup system on our backup backup. All right, so have I killed Ben over here yet? Did it get too cold? Oh yeah, he'll be here in about 20 minutes. You guys just come for the Ben conversation, I know. Look at that, 
30 degrees Celsius. I didn't kill Ben. And that's off. All right. And if I did this right, it's getting much colder in here. And if we have any sort of uh, condensation issue, this should take care of it. Hooray, yes. All right, it's working just fine. Yay. Graveyard. Oh, look at that. Hey, I tell you what, I just have the most difficult problem with things. <laughs> All right, hang on. So that means I don't have a sensor in that room. That means that room's gonna, and that's okay. We don't really cook anything in there anymore. So. It got too cold or something. There's something stressed out here. I was dragging this over. Insulated pipe. Damaged by overpressure. Wow. That's actually kind of cool that it tells you that. But if I go steel sheets. Huh. Is that because there's a wire going through it? There is. Alright, so. I just can't win today. Holding torch. Oh, and two plastic sheets. Oh, then wait a minute. Does that mean that wire can be there and I can repair it? Helps if I pay attention. If those glasses, you look for minerals, you can switch mode to look for um, structural defects or something like that. That would be really nice. Stress. And I'm adjusting the heat. Cold outside.
That's true, especially when I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so let's open this up. And that, oh, geez, what was that set to? That on. And so the temperature is a little warm. And I think that, okay, that's getting cold. That's because we've got a little radiator. So my question is, we go, oh wait, so the air conditioning kicks on if it's uh, greater than 305.15. It's definitely greater than 305.15. Why didn't that kick on? Got a state of one. Huh. It's one of those things where I have to go in there and do it manually once. Steam, nice. So does that mean we have a burst? No, we don't. Okay. Um. Now we got steam in here. getting the temperature coming down yeah, it is. All right. so Ben fixed this problem in our other room why is there no lights in here oh it's this the steam is did we blow out a window or is that just an atmospheric bug no all right let me go see if i can figure out what ben did in uh greenhouse number two Check on this stuff. All right. We're still, that's because the generator was on. Okay. All right. So we ran into the same problem over here with steam. And to do that, we hooked up. Oh. I think Ben's not over here. <sighs> and if I turn this on, it should start getting cooler. So this is one of those problems I have with the save is that the logic just stops working for whatever reason. So that works. So let me turn this off. The way I have to redo this is I have to, first I'm going to go digital valve. Capture name. That. And if we go. Back. That breaks. This, honestly, they ought to make the fog visual only happen if it reaches condensation point. That makes perfect sense. 
that's logic and care to be uh, visual valve. Visual valve, passive. Oh, I had the right one. On. See? That worked. I don't know why. Well, I, my uh, Factorio session is done. Um, I achieved being able to launch eight rockets at the same time and maintaining resources. So I was pretty happy with that, actually. Didn't quite know what I was doing. Let's swap that out. Swap that out. That's all empty. All right. So. Oh, that's right. I was going over here to figure out how to deal with steam. Yeah, you know, it's it's hard to watch a game that you play and, um, you know, things are done differently. <laughs> All right, so to deal with the steam, we did... Uh, oh, geez. All right, so I have to take a screenshot. Hang on. I had to take a screenshot. There we go. Did that do it? Hang on. Yes, I did. So. All right, so we have a purge valve set to five. And what is this thing? That is a passive liquid. Okay, so, but our steam is coming from gas though over there the um i don't think i want to do satisfactory i want to wait until they actually release the game the story because my fear is I do all this work and the story comes out and I have to rechange the whole factory or start scratch again. All right, so. This, I'm afraid I don't know what to do here. How do I fix this? So somehow I have to take the steam. So I, I need a vent of some kind, like a passive vent, but, oh, so it would be a liquid one because steam is liquid, right? So I would passively draw that out, convert it to a gas and dump it back into the room. It's not getting colder in here. Or why? Probably because of the steam. liquid out of the room it's like a, a purge 
Back pressure of purge valves. Move gas from the input. No, that's not it. Valve brain. Oh, here we go. Um. Moves liquids from a pipe network. Point. Well, st st steam is liquid, but it's also a gas, right? So we, we want to do this. I'm thinking so. So it says right there, passive liquid floor inlet that quickly removes liquids in one direction from the world and connects it to a pipe network. <clears throat> so I would have to hook Um, if it's a liquid, I can just tie it right into this. <clears throat> There's our liquid. But I need something to draw it. Like maybe a volume pump? that under Lick, kit liquid drain all right well just in case I'm gonna get um, pump Has this airlock been altered? No. All right. So let's see here. All right, so we'll try it without that. I think that worked. Look at that. And the only thing is that this network now has water in it. No, that's fine. It's got gas in it though. Um I think I exchanged one problem for another problem. So now this passive inlet, which is removed, almost removing all of the Yep, almost all the water, so all the steam, and it's getting colder in here. It's too cold, the heater should kick in. Where's that? It's getting that cold.
I mean, the sun's out. It should be getting warm in here. Man, I don't understand. And also, logic keeps breaking. Oh, okay. All right. Let me leave that alone for a sec. So the steam pressurized it. We removed the steam, and now it's lowering the pressure, getting cooler. Got it. How are we doing over here? I'm gonna put that back. So falling in. temperature on pollutants. All right, so let's turn that off. Oh, heater came on. Okay. At least that, that automation's working. So this should have a zero. Good. That should show a one, right? Because... And it's getting warmer. No, it's getting colder. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, good morning, Ben. Good morning, Andy. Oh yeah, it, it's morning and it's good. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Let me do a quick save here. All right, come on aboard whenever you're ready. Everyone's waiting for you. All waiting with Antissi. Well, they, they want to see some real work versus someone just running around and like a chicken with its head cut off. Hey, you were good enough to keep me alive, though. That's yeah, something. yeah, yeah. I, I uh, stopped the temperature rising passively. Always appreciated. Yes, yes. Let's see, uh, okay, got a couple of buried errors here. I did cause a couple of null refs on my end. Let's see um what you're doing there. I might not be fully synced. You just came out walking around. Heater came on. I guess it got too cold in there. Oh it's it's going back and forth. Right. Yeah, I'm coming out out of breath, which is really strange, but it's settling. Okay. The uh, see here. Yeah, you should have a little bit of CO two, which I guess is from you. Thirty degrees with fifty point four kilopascals. Um, ninety nine percent O two. So just don't light a match. Hey. Noted. All right. Everything looks good? Uh, yep. All right, cool. Good to put your mask down. That was your light. Okay. There you go. <laughs> well, let's do the suit maintenance first, so I don't have to do later. Oh, I got to... Gotta... Do we have water here? 
Not in this room yet, no. You have to go over to greenhouse number two. Gotcha. Greenhouse number one has got problems. I actually have water in a, there's it's just not hooked up and I think it has to be in a certain temperature for it to actually work. water in here yep So, um... Hold your helmet. Oh, thanks. Low pressure. I got it. Oxygen critical. The uh, punch list for today, um, I materialized over at Site B and wasn't mm -hmm. paying attention to what was going on over here. When I came over here, I noticed that two spots on the CO2, you'll notice because they're white pipes now, were burst so down there and then on the other side. So we lost all the CO2 and the temperature was over 700 degrees Celsius. I was, well, that's oh, odd. That's so I came over to our cooling system and um, there was no pressure down here because all the pipes had burst, almost all of them. Uh -huh. So I fixed that, I refilled that. it, and I put probably too much in it. Okay, I'll clean it up, no worries. All right. So anyways, by doing that, the cooling that was needed for the average temp got back in and brought the CO2 is down to 67. And it's, uh, um, there was like, you know, none, but because the generator ran, for some reason we have 11, 11 megapascals in our poopy line here. Filters are on, and these things run real slow too. Is that even going down? Hmm. That is very strange. I have to change how the filters are set up? All right. Make sure filters are in fact. You're reading for the CO2 tank right now. Uh, CO2, according to this, is uh, 1.1 megapascals and 67 degrees Celsius. Okay, that corresponds to what I'm showing down here. All right, the gluten, though, is the high temp of 375. I don't see it. I think it's slowly going down. Oh, wait a second. I'm not reading. Huh.
like I'm seeing something set up differently for the pollutant. We might have a damaged uh, heat exchanger down here. Oh, okay. I'd, uh, I repaired some pipes. It's all misty it's down all misty. Yeah, I'm reading um, before and after the circulation pump on the CO2 here, yeah. and the input on the pump is empty. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Um, I'm, I'm getting a slight getting echo. A... Can you picture? Oh, yeah. Uh, Thank you. Uh, what do I want to do here? How do you fix the heat exchanger? Hold do you? And try just replacing this pipe section here. Two is sixty-one four, and no, I'm sorry. Yeah, six point eight and then six point seven. All right, on the CO two, nothing. Right, nothing on the input. Yeah, that's what. That's what the problem is. I think I'll replace the top pipe on the one after the pump here. Oh, I see why we're doing the uh, flute a little differently because that's the one that can do weird thing. Nitrogen's got the same problem. Yeah, I'm going to replace the heat exchanger on the CO2. So these are all gas and gas, right? So if... Um... Go make a couple of new ones and see what happens. All right, I'd try replacing the pump too, just for giggles. All right. <clears throat> I've had that happen with uh, active ends before too. Yeah, before we do this, let's do one quick thing here. Because I had two null refs on my end when I was swapping pipes. So, yeah, hop, out. Four. Yeah, hop out real quick. All right, let me do save. Let me reload the game and see if... Um... Yeah, there's another exception down there too. That's saved. We actually had five null refs on startups plus uh, 
some other kind of error that I can't make sense of. Final refs came when I was, um, I had deconstructed the busted pipes. So I had two. Ah, uh, gotcha. Electro said that correct medicine, so I had no refs. So don't forget guys, tomorrow might not be a stream. I have to wait until like a little bit after 5.30 to call the county to see if I actually have jury duty. Because I'll be taking a stack of comic books with me. They don't allow any electronics. And hopefully they'll say, we don't want the old guy with comic books. Let's get him out of here. Oh, yeah. All right, loading up the save. All right, so before you hop in, let me Go check stuff. Hey, Poopman. What if you're being charged? But what if the person being charged is a supervillain? That's true. They, they would want me on that. All right. Let's see here. So we were looking at the CO2. All right. It's working now. Wait. Hang on. Yep. It's working now. All right. Jumping back in. All right. Well, except for nitrogen is not... I got a jury duty a couple years ago because I knew the judge. Well, I don't know anyone. I mean, they had a, a, a list of legit reasons why. But there's no reason for me not to go. All right, for those curious, Ben was, um, missing your glasses. What? They're on. Oh, I don't see them. Here. All right. So Ben was noticing that. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Now I'm not getting anything on the oxygen. CO2 seems to be okay. Gluten, volatiles, nitrogen, broken. Oh, yeah, oxygen's broken. We broke the oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, there's a, there was a way to tell if something was actually damaged. The tool, I can't remember which tool or if it matters, but uh, I'll go ahead and let me swap the pipes again. That's a T, that's a T. Okay, let's see if that works. That is not working. I made a new heat exchange. Let me go get it. I think I might have figured it out. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, partly. Turn off the pump, you have to get a reading on the input. It's the cheap Mars produced heat exchanger, I tell you, nothing. <laughs> All right, so let's use your See that? Um, oh, yeah, okay. So, nothing. Oh, 
And now you're getting a reading when you turn off the pump. Yeah. Then what happens? not normal. Then if you turn on the pump? Then it's gone. So maybe a bad volume pump? Mm, I'm still thinking bad heat exchanger. All right. There's another one on the rail right behind you. Okay, let's do that then. How you doing, Poopman? It's recirculating it. It's it's doing a force instead of a passive. Um, there's a volume pump actually turned off here too. Would this one be off? They should all be on. Okay. This one was off that was connected to uh, pollutants down here. Kind of a unique one. No one else has one. Oh, oh no, one. that's the pump that adds coolant to the, uh, the third line. That one should be off. Okay. All right. I just turned it on temporarily, so I don't know why. All right, so I added pollutant to our O2. Replacement heat exchanger didn't fix the issue. So the nitrogen uh, has the same thing. Okay. Read there. That one's dead. So if I turn off. Let me extend some of these pipes down a little bit so that it's more than just one single pipe section. So it's like a real network? Yeah. nitrogen ah. yep well look at that mm. the network's getting crossed okay yeah we'll take it that's great all right so so with maybe that now, how badly, how bad is it that I added the pollutants to the O2 cooling line? I thought it was a pollutant cooling line. Oh, well, okay. So I guess my question is, oh, you're right, you're right. Well, oh, you added O2 to the to the cooling, ah, oh, I see. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll purge it and then we'll, um, Right again. Yep. All right. Electro is stating that filters got to be set up differently now, not the old traditional way. And, and what do we need to change? I don't know. It was uh, Electro. Is there? Can you put something in Discord? about 
the new setup of the filters. My, my statement was that it, it just, they, they're not as, before the phase change, they were real fast. And sometimes I think we were swapping out filter units for pumps because they worked better than pumps. But now uh, they run very slowly. We have to, Goodman says we have to breathe stinky gas for a week. Fine. Oh. All right. I do see that now the uh, X, the pollutant, is now coming down in temperature. Good. Yeah. So it looks like. Everything is now cooling except for the oxygen, which is warming up because we dumped all that really cold. O2. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah, I'll, um, I need to figure out a way to purge the, uh, the circulation line here. I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. Um, um, how about I just set up a filter to filter out the O2? Yeah. So okay, we're, we were, we we actually were using X. Yeah. Then, okay, then I'm confused with this digital valve. Oh, I see. You had X in the cooling line out here also. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. I'll, that's my bad. Well, um, or since there's... I was going to say, you could just run the X back through the filtering. That's convenient. Uh, what? Put it through the poopy line. Oh, but I don't want to purge. I, I want X to be in the line. Oh, I was going to say it might have been easy just to dump it all back into the filter and then re-add X after it's all empty. Oh, yeah, that's that was my second thought, too. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to filter out the O2. It'll be okay. fine. Okay. All right. Um... Then the, okay, so since that's connected down there and the valve is open, we need to leave the valve open. It should stay open since things are pretty warm. All right. <clears throat> For the record, me putting O2 in the cooling did fix the Oh, yeah. All right, let me go. Well, you do that. Let me go check some other things really quick. Uh, the way it broke is probably because I never extended those pipe sections at the end of our last session there. That was probably the cause of it all. I'm wondering why we would have had to do that. Oh, okay, so that. So I've got other problems over here, too, as soon as you get that all fixed. I do appreciate that you can now hover a mouse over a canister or a tank and do it. No, just a canister. You can see how much pressure is in there now instead of having to always, you know, grab the pad. So, guys. Uh, what was I doing?
All right, so what I have learned is if you use a liquid passive vent in a room and let it do what it does, it will suck all the heat out of the room. Or actually, I guess it will... I guess it's since it's a two-way, it was taking the temperature of the water in the pipe and sharing the thermal with the room. All right. All right so that, that'll get back to being heated. So I took a bunch of scrap lumber over the weekend, cut it up into strips, put a bunch of glue, and I made my own dimensional lumber out of it. Nice. Yeah. It looks real pretty too. Uh, it's almost a shame to use this as a project that I've got going on. From all the renovation, we have tools and materials that we don't need, and they're just kind of sitting on the garage floor, yada, yada, yada. So instead of investing in a large, expensive storage system, we're going to make our own. So for some reason, over here, when the coolant line gets too cold, the condensation and purge don't seem to be working. Maybe it gets too cold too fast. You have this one set to zero. Maybe that's what the problem is. All right. Gonna heat up. It's good. power and give the centrifuge a chance to catch up um this centrifuge is drawing fuel from down here doing okay on fuel down here Well, I tell you what, ever since we swapped out the generator room's walls for these super mega windows, mm -hmm. it's one less thing to have to uh, worry about, you know? Yeah. All right, did you get all purged? No. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, okay.
All right, so you're purging that. That means I don't need this up here anymore. So me use this. Clean this up. So there is one pipe radiator on a very small pipe network, uninsulated. I just put some pollutant into it, only 300 kilopascals, and it's getting cold. The problem I ran into is it keeps bursting a pipe over here. So the um, condensation is on. The difference was that the purge valve was set to three kilopascals. Um, Oh, I, I reset that to zero. I'm just watching this to see when it starts stressing out and why it stresses out. Hang on one sec, guys. Let me, I'll be right back.
power low. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Quick bio break. Had to do something real quick. All right. So. Well, that's interesting. Oh, a burst of pipe in there. Wow. Okay. How am I low on power? Is there no network over here? Uh. Ben, you there? Yeah, I'm on. All right. We're all purged and filtered. Uh, let me check. Uh, I've, I've got a bizarre problem. I don't know how to fix it. Yeah, I'll come over. All right. Turn all this off. I was still half a percent of O2 in that circulation line. Um, I'll just let it run for a while. All right. Me, grab a pipe. Hey, good morning, Saturn. How are you doing? Uh, the problem is on the back side where all the logic is it's not really a logic issue it's just i don't know how to so the cooling line keeps bursting a little black line, which is i'm just putting x in there and it was always bursting on that side and then one time i walk away it bursts in here Now this room has got CO2, some pollutants. So I'm just gonna use this filter here. Oh, there's, there's a pollutant filter there already. Um, the temperature is wrong. Can you turn on the logic behind you? Ben, I'm sorry to bother you. Can you turn on the red logic? It's for the I'm heater. Here for heater. Yeah. And what do you, okay, good. So the heat did come on good. So that works. And the, the cooling is the blue, which the logic works. Um, I did a thing. What'd you do, Dunn? The problem is that when the, when the X gets too cold, the pipe will burst. So for some reason, that it liquefies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's not use X. Oh, okay. We want to use it. Hmm. Uh huh. Nitrogen? Uh, um, no, because that's oh. the other one that liquefies. Oh, that's right. All right. Okay. You start a new station, you're saved. Nice. Right now, I'm reading that it's mostly it's 99% of oxygen. Well, that's, I would that's just go with that. Well, okay, because the pipe burst in here, so it grabbed the environment in here. Right. Yeah, I'll just go with that. All right. So you uh, you just accidentally fixed it. <laughs> okay. So is it is it getting uh, cool or something? What's going on over there? Uh, yeah, it's going cooler. Okay. So let's let's babysit this. Um. So this room only gets warm when the sun comes out because the sun <clears throat> hits all this glass and it gets warm in here. And um plus those pesky human throwing it. Yeah, I know, I know. And then also I need to So one problem at a time. So let's see if that has a problem. Now if I if I put my little thing on it. So you see oh, so the CO2 is very cold. Yeah. All right. So we have a, a mixed bag. Okay, now the gluten got the gluten is just kicked on. Yep. There's oh, only we should uh, probably increase the pressure on this though, because 50 kPa is really not quite enough for a, right. a cooling line. 
All right, so, all right, so uh, uh, let me come out there and do that. Tanking. Can you uh, adjust yeah, the volume I, again I, I can the, do it. or mute the uh, uh, stream? Oh, yeah, okay. Because I'm hearing myself and I want to talk to myself. Can CO2 get liquid? Yeah, it's, it's a bizarre one. So all you have to do is um, over your right shoulder, there's a canister, so... I don't think we have a canister hooked up yeah, to CO2, sure. though. Allergies that use oxygen. I know we got a connector. Oh, I'm that. sorry, oxygen. I'm sorry, oxygen. Yeah, when they made the phase change, um, the the big culprits was the pollutant X and nitrogen. They're the ones that seem to have um, the higher probability. I guess the, their variances are different to turn the liquid faster than anything else. And then CO2 is like, it has this really small window of temperature and pressure. Did I say that right, Ben? Yeah. Okay. Is there any gas in the game that under normal circumstances in the game cannot get liquid? Well, if you mean like human state, um, normal, if you're talking about normal temperatures of what, 30 degrees Celsius? Um, no, no, I, I think they all stay stable. It's when they get too much pressure and then that's when you start to get in trouble. Oh, okay. We've got 300 kilopascals and it's bouncing. So, so the condensation guy is working, right? I see it going back and forth between water. Yep. All right, cool. Let's see. Yeah, I got liquid pollutants on this side here. All right, so the room no longer has pollutants. The little filter here works. Fantastic. Yeah, the only issue is that that, that little canister is contaminated now. Oh, that one there? Yep. Oh, I would, so, just, you know, I would just... Don't use it to breathe because it's got pollutants in it. 3% pollutants. All right. Or, or, it might not kill you, but you know, not healthy. <laughs> All, right. All right, so we're seeing that the temperature is getting colder. Ran into an issue with the pollutant getting liquefied, but the evaporation system kicked in. So again, if 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 I understand how that works, that the valve magically detects condensation, the one on the left, right? Um, sure. Okay. Yes. Well, well, then then how does it work? Because I thought it if it detects a liquid in a gas line, it grabs it and does something with it, right? Uh, yeah, that's the idea, yeah. And then what we're doing is putting into a tank, a liquid tank, and then we have um, a purge system that will convert it into gas, or we're actually purging the liquid, right? Yeah, we're turning the liquid back into a gas. Yeah. If, okay. if, okay. if, it, if it's allowed to do so without creating more liquid. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. Presumably. All right, so we're at right. my... This is set my... by the uh, dial on the purge valve here, yeah. Right. It was set at three kilopascals. I ch I put it down to uh, zero. Zero. Yep. I am thinking of adding a pool in water working... Yeah, you, sh you should be able to now. They, they, they made it to where water was a thing now. It has to be the right temperature, though. So pollutant is not really a good source of coolant anymore. Should probably switch to O2 is what you're saying, Ben? Less fine tuning. Yeah, less less problems. Yeah. Yeah, you might not even need the whole condensation evaporation thing here. Oh, with the O2, yeah. So how the room is warming up, it's only 27. 
When it gets above 30, that's when the cooler, cooling kicks in. Can you turn on the logic? Bye, Alex. Alex, yep. wave, guys. And you should see a state zero being sent back and forth between the compare. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, okay good. <laughs> Thanks, Saturn. All right, 28.1, sun's out, so it's getting nice and toasty in here. All right, I see our little coolant network there is still getting colder. Now the problem that I run into um, is that sometimes when I load in the save, some of the logic just stops working. And the fix that I have found is whatever device is not doing what it needs to do, all I have to do is disassemble the device, re-add it, and then like in this case, it's connected to a logic writer. So I have to go out there and just reprogram the logic writer and that usually fixes it. So Ben, let's do that. All right, I'm gonna redo this logic, uh, this uh, water cooler. Cause I think this might've been a culprit or wall cooler, it should have water. All right, all right. Well, I just went through a narrow stage here, so. Yep, because I, I, I dismantled it and rebuilt it. So you need to just reprogram that chip. Gotcha. Uh, you want to try something different? Sure. sure. How about I swap the logic writer to a batch writer? Okay. That way it's not depending on the device itself at all. Okay. But as a batch writer, you still have to say wall cooler, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's still, all right, find out if that. Presumably there's only one cooler on the Yeah, yeah, there's only here. one cooler in here. Yeah, so that all works. Good work. The readings are off the scale, Captain. I know, I know. All right, it's getting close to 30 degrees. So we want to, uh, so all you have to do is now just repoint that over here and turn it on. We're waiting for above 30 degrees Celsius and hopefully this works. If, if we run into the same problem and I have to come in here and dismantle and remantle or dismantle and reconstruct, you still get an error code over there, won't you? Uh, yeah, but it'll recover automatically. Uh, you won't have to really the chip anymore. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Hey, Ben, did you mute the stream? Yeah, you still getting an echo? A little bit, yeah. Let me fix that here. All right, 29.8, 29, 29.9. 30 degrees Celsius. Wait for you to see what condition you have over there on the chips. All right, 30.1. It should have a state of one over there. Uh, it should be good now. Can you hear me okay without any echo? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit, but that's okay. fine. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. What do you see on the uh, batch writer? It is in an off state. State zero. All right. The, so the condition's not met. So I have thirty dot four degrees Celsius. Is that what's that set to? Three. What's the temperature? Should be 30 degrees Celsius, right? 305. Isn't 305 30 degrees Celsius? Uh, it's 32 Celsius. 32 degrees Celsius. All right. I think what Would I did you is like I gave cooler. No, no. I, I just I think I gave myself like a a five or ten degrees buffer between the two, so these guys wouldn't be fighting all the time. Uh, yeah, 298 on the hot side. All right. Because otherwise, it's like, I, I think I did like, um, I think I did 
like a, a three degrees difference of saying that would be perfect, but they were on off, on off, on off. So, all right. Playing ping pong? Yeah. All right, so it's 90, minus 92 degrees Celsius on the O2 cooling. Getting colder. Nothing's burst yet. But where else am I using X for cooling? I think this was the only place. Because everything else is passive with whatever environment. All right, it is 30. Oh, all right, so the sun's Yeah, you down. know, here I am purging the uh, circulation line on the... Um... <laughs> On the tank, right? Like, oh, we're, we're, yeah. Yeah, this all over again, but the other way. <laughs> all right. Well, I, I don't know if this is going to get warm enough for that to set off. The sun went down, so I'm going to force the issue here. I'm going to turn on the heater. Well, I was going to say use flares, but that's probably not a good idea. Didn't that add X back into the room? I didn't do it. You need the portable uh, filter? Oh, it's already in here. Wait, is that, I don't have, oh, there you go. I don't have, I don't have flirt. Okay. 31.9, 32. Uh, then disappeared. No, there you are. What do you see for a state? Oh, it turned on. Yay. All right. Cool. All right. So that's working. So we good? I think so. Yeah. All right, sweet. So that's that problem. Um, the other problem is in here. I fixed the problem, but caused another problem. So when, um, when the pipes burst for cooling, somehow I got steam in here. So my fix to pull the steam out was I added one of these um, liquid drain kits. So I did, it pulled uh -huh. the steam out. But now I have in this pipe network, I have H2O water, O2, and CO2. Well, that's inconvenient. Yes, yes. So I was thinking, well, wait a minute. You had a similar situation over at greenhouse number two, where you had the passive valve, a purge, you went to a tank, and then you went to a passive vent. So you were taking the water, but that was from the room. So this is from a network pipe uh, a water now this is the opposite mm -hmm. so how do i take the gases out of a water now um that's the evaporation thingy okay um all right let me print you up the part all right but then i have to and put I'm it to a, a passive vent right um i have I have no no parts in here except for liquid uh, I pipes. Got you. And your skull. It's weird. What? Oh no, that's my skull. Oh. Oh, you know what's weird is there's a skull in this greenhouse that's mine and the other one in the uh in the refrigerator is your skull. <laughs> I don't understand why the developers use different temperature standards between the logic code. I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to grasp a, a normal and then be able to adjust from based upon that. Also, should be noted that the devs have a wicked sense of humor. Yeah. All right. Like how they uh, coded the halt command on the uh, IC chip. They did what? There is a command in the IC config uh, programming that's called halt. Really? Which literally stopped the, the chip from uh, doing anything. It literally stopped it, right? Yeah. Um, in old programming code, the command, the full command name is halt and catch fire. And so the devs made it so that when you run the halt command, it stops the IC chip, and then the IC chip bursts into flame. Oh, okay. Halt and catch fire. Eh? So, so someone did their due diligence, and yes. 
You just have to find a different way of halting. So we're going to take the gas out of the network here and just vent it back into the room, right? Yep. Okay. Which would be CO2 and O2. Perfect. As long as I can figure out what part it is. All right, so I no longer will use X as a coolant. I guess it's always dependent upon the environment you're in also. So I think if I was doing, when I did my first wall cooler and I was putting radiators on pipes, I did not understand the concept because the only thing I knew about a radiator was the ones that are in your car. And then someone said, it's the same basic concept. It's doing the exchange. It's grabbing the, the warmth that's in the pipe and exchanging it with, and I was on the moon. So with the vacuum, I said, okay, I get that. And then I didn't understand why pollutant was being used as a coolant. Uh, they said that, you know, I, someone had done a series of tests and found out that X or pollutant was the better one to use at the time. So that's what I've always been using. All right, it looks like you're going to be using a purge valve for this. Okay. Now, there's actually a couple valves out here that you can grab instead of printing. This you already printed. I already printed it. Okay. Well, from what I've read, I don't know what they're working on except for the rocket. And the one thing that we don't have an abundance of, so we can get, because the miners, we're getting plenty of ore, you know, uh, it's our ices. Now we tried to do a rocket to go do ice mining. It wasn't working for us. So we have to go out and get stuff. There we go. Yeah, we do have the trader set up and we've experimented with them, but we're still trying to um, get that to work 100%. Unfortunately, th this session has turned into all of a sudden a bunch of stuff broke for whatever reason. Pipes burst because of, I'm thinking it was high temperature because it was over 700 degrees Celsius. Why don't you just come in and Educate me. And we're not really using this room for greenhouse. It can be used. I mean, we have all the automation for the lighting. Uh, we do have a source of water. We just don't have it here. Um, so this is like a backup to something else in case we decide to try something and it doesn't work. All right. So the situation we have here is that for whatever reason, Steam. Hey, look at that. Hey, FX Editor, that's 45 months, man. Appreciate that. Good morning to you as well, FS Editor. So we had a pipe burst and it caused steam because it got too warm. So I, I used a passive inlet to suck out the steam, which it did, but it also added CO2 and O2 to this water network. So then what Ben is hooking up is a purge valve that's going to purge the gases out and dump it back into the room. Does that sound about right? Yep. So...
There's actually quite a bit of water in this pipe network here. Hey, wow, that was fast. Oh, wait. Nope, still in there. Um, I don't see anything moving. I think it's because it's at the 50 kPa, so let me increase that a little bit. Okay. That should do it. Nope. What's the pressure on that pipe? Um, 48.4 kilopascals. 48, okay, so let me lower this now. There we go. Okay, I got it down to 40. All right, so, so, so the, um, Three years, 11 months, 19 days, 22 hours, and 43 seconds. Nice. Let me ask you this. So if you put that down to zero, water was... Water. Okay, because water... Okay, now we just have water in there. Okay. Now we're not dumping no. water into the room. Oh, we are. Well. <laughs> we don't want to do that. All right, so we can turn off the purge valve. Now we have steam again. <laughs> but at least there's no gas in the water. <laughs> Okay, that problem's fixed. Yay. All right, I'll go get a uh, condensation thing. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I don't have one of those. Oh, and the, the air conditioner kicked on. So it's... Uh... Andy in the myth. I got to take a picture <laughs> of this. Help. Help. I did. I, I made the room sticky. Yes. So that works. All right. So that's how you do it. But you just got to be, I guess what we wanted to do is not only did we pull the gas out, but it also pulled water out. And since it hit a warm room, I guess it created steam. Not much, mind you, but enough to where I think it would cause a problem. This should be a requirement for a greenhouse, but yeah. Uh, you think, yeah. Now see, I didn't know things changed on water because when I was doing the crushing of ice, I was looking at the pressure of the tank and not the, um, the, the, the moles. So in this pipe neck, network this little network here there's 14.7 kilomoles 265 liters of look at that car toys in there with seven years 10 months seven days 18 hours 42 minutes and two seconds nice all right Let's see here hang on how long have i been following myself oh no <laughs> i can't follow myself I know, I know. Otherwise, I, I create a circle, right? Well, now Twitch automatically subs to yourself. You, you don't pay yourself, but you are sub, though. That's why when you see my my chat emblem, it shows. Show stats six years, five months. All right, so this is going to take gas. Gonna take water out of the room. Is that like an atomizer? That's yeah, gonna take water out of the room. 
turn it back into water. I got pipes up there. The room has got 90 kilopascals of pressure. God, it's so weird. I can hear you moving the valve and it's actually moving. You gotta appreciate some of I'm gonna elements. set to uh, 60 kPa, see what we get here. All right, fire away. Uh, no movement on the water. This might not be the right part. So that's a purge that you have? The pressurant valve. So allows the removal of pressurant gas and evaporated liquids from a liquid pipe. Oh, crap, that's the wrong part. All right. You want the evaporator, Oh, right? it's a good thing I didn't power it. <laughs> oh, okay. Pressure can... valve actually adds gas to a liquid oh. pipe. All right, well, I'll wait till you swap it out. I can do I can do some stuff here instead of just holding the tablet and saying you're doing it wrong. Um, what was that gizmo you had installed? That the oh, blue colored vent. That there? one right there, that liquid kit, brain kit. Yeah, let's try that again. All right. Presumably, you just connected to the liquid line here. Yeah, actually, um, yeah. All right, so I'll put it here. I've got to move some wires. I got it. You can hook the pipes. Got them. Uh, yes. I don't see any steam anymore. Weird. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. So the, I guess the the inlet is just grab. Okay, hang on. We got problems. Wait. All right. So, uh. Hang on. Water's going down. Good. So we have zero liters, but they're still not 300 milliliters. What are we doing to the pipe network? Okay. Yeah, still it is actually draining the water. Look at that. Yeah, it's draining the water out of the room. Yay. And then, but we're still putting, we're putting O2 and CO2 back into the pipe. Well, that's what I did initially. You just did what I did. Way to go, Ben. You're welcome. <laughs> so now we, um, what? We, have to, <laughs> we have to pull only the gas out of the pipe now. But if we do that with this purge valve, that works, but then it puts water back into the room. Is this one of those things where we pull the water out and evaporate it into a tank and then back into a gas and dump it back into the room? Maybe. Hang on, let me uh, look at the look at the stream for a sec. Let me show you. This is what you did in the other room. So you had this, and then it went to a um, purge that you put into a tank, and then so you purge the gas out, 
All right, condensation into your tank. And then, so basically, you're taking whatever gases there were here, purging them from here. Any evaporation takes place, and it turns it into a gas. Yeah, might go over there and take a look. All right. All right. I will. Uh, You can keep playing with this one and see if you can get it to do something. Well, I'm going to wait until all the water leaves. But while that's happening, it's sucking the warm air out, putting it into temperatures going up in the water, which makes sense. All right, so the room has got no more water. So I can uh, disconnect this for right now. Right. Yeah, that is the same system. So the only thing we're missing is we need to send um, the output from the purge valve a tank so it'll take the water and turn it into a gas mm. the um, atmosphere in here is 95% oxygen tiny trace of nit uh, nitrogen and 5% CO2 Uh, we have a liquid drain and a purge valve set up with purge valve which goes... is set to five kPa. Okay. I'm gonna set this to five. That was the wrong way. I set to five kPa, but it's not going to a pass event. It's going to a tank, though, right? Yeah, but the tank's gonna get to a passive event. But does the tank take any water and pressurizes it so it turns into a gas or something like that? No, the tank is essentially just a pass through. All right. All right, so then over here, what I'm gonna do is just clean up a little bit. All right. So now there is a 2 kPa difference. All right, so this room over here is 87.6 kilopascals. There's no liquid or anything in the atmosphere. The pipe has got O2 and CO2, and I have the purge valve set to 5 kPa. what we want sounds about right yep all right turning on the purge all right so stuff the air is leaving so it's gonna get it's gonna bring the pipe down to five kilopascals oh wait a minute oh no okay now we have we have steam again And it's getting so we need to do the same thing we need to, before you come in here grab a, a tank and a um yeah we need a tank tank oh you brought one maybe not all right because we have almost the exact same thing because if we do, um, all right, so I'm gonna turn this off. It's not helping. This is what throws me for a loop. I don't understand what the relationship should be and what things are needed. 
a portable liquid tank, yeah? Uh, no. We need a... If we're going to follow the example in this screenshot, we need a yellow one. Because this one goes... Oh, the expansion tank there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for liquid or for gas? No, we want to do the same thing. So it's gas. Okay. You know, somebody in the audience is just laughing at us. Cause I know, and that's fine. Done. That's okay. And then we need... You have a one-way valve also, so can bring a gas valve also? Yep. It's really what it comes down to is the pressure in the liquid pipe is not high enough to liquefy the steam. That's why it keeps leaking back. Oh, oh. Also, I don't know. Okay, so we might have so. to raise the pressure there. In the yeah. room? No, in the liquid pipe. Okay. Which means you need a lot more water, which you don't have. I don't have more water. I might All have right. to get you more water. That's going to be hard. <laughs> well, actually, uh, no, I have a tank of water over at uh, Site B. Uh, sorry, what was I making you here? Um, need a one-way valve and an expansion. Oh, tank. yeah. Thank you, Digital. For some reason, I feel so much better. Just very loud eye rolling. All right. I need to um no i get it but what's funny is that i'm looking at the pressure reading on the liquid pipe yeah and it's 8.99 kpa which is the yeah. armstrong limit say again 8.99 kpa it's the armstrong limit it's the pressure at which liquid water vaporizes at room temperature uh you have nowhere near enough water to keep enough pressure to keep this water from evaporating. You need more water. All right. Site B has got a tank full of water. Okay. Uh, we'll get you some water. The Armstrong limit's a little lower than that, but you know, it's so close that yeah, I can tell that that's what the issue is. Okay, you're at 30 C over there, so yeah, you're probably hitting it.
Hmm. Alright, so hang on a sec before you uh, do anything. I've hooked up stuff. The... Uh -huh, uh -huh. The H2O is leaving the room, but the gases are staying in the pipe. All right. Okay. I'll get you some more water. All right. And a bit. Lowering the temperature of the room. Sure is. <clears throat> the um, all right. So the oh, I see. The pipe pressure of the of the water you're saying is not high enough. Okay. I'm gonna have to make a nice run after this. You pull that. Do you get that from Site B? Yep. Or or Greenhouse, too. Oh, uh, sorry. No, Greenhouse too. All right. So there's a, a. Go ahead and pull. Leave that one outside. Go to Site B where the big radiator is. I filled up a big tank of water over there. Okay. <clears throat> oh, look at that. There's two water tanks here. Yeah, one's empty. One's full. Ish. Yeah, it suffers from the same problem. There's 9 kPa of pressure right here. All right. Yeah, this is nothing. All right. That was a, a half uh, a backpack, half a backpack of ice that was crushed. Okay. Well, well I'm going you mining, know, man. Well, let me ask you this. What would be easier? Just dismantle this whole pipe network and put it back together? No, you need more water. That's what it comes down to. All right. All right. Well, then, uh, I guess we're going to go both mining for ice. Good time, too. It's, it's Yeah, I can just grab the water tank I, I left for you there. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll get some water for you. All right. So we, want, we basically want to pump the water out of these tanks and put it into the network, right? Yes. Um, this connected tank is going to take care of itself. Oh, okay. Well, but it there's nothing. Okay, so hang on a sec. So the 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 water just sits there in and becomes part of the network. Do you want to empty the tank into the pipe? No, the uh, tank should already already be pressurized. To uh, I, honestly, I didn't even check how much pressure was in there, but it should be enough to put enough pressure on the your liquid right. pipe network there right. too the, this things. one has 22.9 all right 22 kpa oh yeah. shoot that's almost nothing water doesn't do the pressure thing anymore like it used to yeah because it's yeah theoretically incompressible but that's why i was asking that um if we pump the water Oh, I actually added nitrogen in the jetpack. Now the pressure is at 80.9. I don't think that really moved. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, I just contaminated that. All right, hang on.
If you heat the water, does it increase the pressure? Minimally, but yeah, it will. Ready for me to dump some yeah. ice in here? Yeah, it's it's gonna dump right into the pipe network. I'm trying to empty the tank. I polluted it. And actually, I could probably do this to fix it. Yeah, go ahead. So the pipe network is 77.8 kilopascals. It's got 200. Okay, here here comes the. Pressure is going down because that's cold. Yeah, now it's down to 77.4 kilopascals. All right, one more stack. All right. And I got one more stack here if uh, you want it. Yep, yeah, far away. Seventy six dot eight. Okay, I gotta purge the nitrogen out of this line here before it bursts the pipe. Yeah. Um, if you go over to um, our filters, there's a big nitrogen tank over there. You can, or it's on the purge line, I think. Yeah. Okay, got it. A big green tank over there. So I would have never figured this out because I, I was thinking the right hardware would do what it needs to do do. I, I, I have a heater on, so I don't see the temperature going up yet. I know, I said doo doo. It was interesting, the wall heater's having a hard time warming the room because the, uh, what is it called? The passive liquid inlet is sharing the cold water temperature to the room. Ben, do you require assistance out there? Oh, okay, you got it. Yeah, I got it. Then you gotta throw the valve and turn on, there you go. Hey Rob, what's up? Uh, there is air. We have nitrogen, O2, CO2. It's it's uh, it's breathable pressure-wise. The temperature's okay too, uh, but it's... um. I think it's warming up. 22.3. Yeah, plus your liquid pipe aren't insulated, so it might make things a little cooler just by convection. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, the convected is minus 17.7 joules. Yeah, that would actually make a noticeable difference. I'm guessing the room temperature is still dipping a little bit. Um, yeah, it's 22 degrees. Do you want a second heater? Um, yeah, that might help. Oh, you want to do a wall heater? Oh, okay. All right. Um, can you turn off the logic and change the um, logic writer to a batch writer then? Oh, yeah. Good idea. I occasionally get them. Seven, or we'll say dot five, dot six. What you need another heater? No, no, it's getting warm. <laughs> it's getting warm now. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So, pipe network, water in there. All right. So the convected is going up again. Okay, because it's getting warm from the ambient heat in the room. Oh wait, that's actually getting colder. Minus number's going up. Convected? Oh, that's a good thing, that's because it's convected. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Yeah, it's losing its cool. All right, so the whole convected and radiated and, and okay. So the, the pipe, the, the temperature of the water is 11.1 .1 degrees Celsius. And it was 11, so it went up. This is gonna good. be a slow process temperature is 76.8 what does the pressure in the pipe have to be for this to start working uh anything above uh let's say roughly 10 kpa did you say 10 uh-huh well it's well above 10 wait what's your question again you said that the pressure of the water was not high enough to do oh yeah the armstrong limit uh sorry that's uh it, i think it's seven kpa well we have so as long as you're higher than seven then yeah now purging uh the gases out of the liquid should work are you sure because it's been that it's been the same pressure 76 yeah we probably have to tweak the valve oh all right set to five so you want that up to seven is what you're saying uh, let's punch it up to ten all right Go wild oh i went wrong way oh i still went the wrong way all right it's a ten yeah i'm i'm confused Huh. I said or that a couple. Maybe it's the pressure on the outlet, because that would make more sense, wouldn't it? It's 126 kilopascal after the purge valve here. Uh, um, so Electro says, well, your pipes aren't insulated either. Yeah, I know. Um, so the gas pipes yeah. need to be insulated? 
No, the liquid pipe running from the ice machine. Oh. At least, at least until we get to the inside there. So there's like four, five, six, seven, eight sections we need to replace. All right, and it says the liquid drain will continue to allow gases into the pipe, liquid pipe. Oh, I see. Yeah, so we can we can disconnect the. We don't have. Okay, I get what you're saying. Um, I think something's uh, working. Yep. All right, I'm going to go insulate, uh, replace those liquid well, pipes outside. All right. So, well, um, the, we're getting steam again. All right. I'll let you do that. Well, that, that removed all the gas from there. Once the liquid pipe reaches zero KPI pressure, it will convert some. Uh, all right. I'll wait till that gets down to zero pressure then. Once the liquid pipe reaches zero KPI, it will convert some of the liquid water into gas. All right. So how do I get the steam and water out of here? Because we had the same problem over in the other greenhouse and we used, we used um, that, no, that, we used that and it worked and it did work, but it just put gases back into pipe network. The look at the temp 25 degrees Celsius. What pressure is a conversion at? I don't know. So, the wait, no, it's not zero. Look at the oh, I got you. Um, for what device though? I think he means for you to look up water on the uh, stationpedia. Oh. All right. Gotcha. Uh, all right. So, um, freezing temperature 273, minimum condensation 6.3 kilopascals, and at 273 Kelvin. That's over there. Oh, I got you. 7.5 kilopascals. Uh -oh. I'm running. I'm running. Oh, Mayday. Mayday. Oh, we definitely have steam now. Yeah. So I'm not too sure. So it has to be, so 25 degrees Celsius equals 268 Kelvin. So that's what we have to have in the pipe, the water pipe or in the room. I'm confused. Steam, huh? So hot right now, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't. Pressure has to be 13.6 kilopascals. 
But where are you pulling this 298 from? That's 298 Kelvin, which is 25 degrees Celsius. 25? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, so he's saying my room temperature. Oh, I got it. Okay. So the room temperature is now 13.6 because. Yeah. Things and stuff happened. <laughs> yeah. Is it getting warmer? Yeah, it's getting warmer. All right. Yeah, I'm at a complete loss on why it worked in the other room, but not here, I guess, because we got lucky with the room temperature and pressure. Um, do you remember the settings on the purge valve we have in the other greenhouse? No, no. Uh, Electra says, if you keep the liquid water pipe at 14 kilopascals, then it won't convert water to gas. Okay. How do we... 14. Okay. All right. So just keep adding water. Now the temperature is going up. Let me run over and check. I, I'm I'm useless in here. I don't know what we're... I know the problem. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> Low pressure. I'm not oh, even geez. sure how these uh, devices work, to be honest. So, a bit of a guesswork for me, too. I almost killed myself. All right. So, the purge valve setting... I have to go inside to see it. All right, so when we accidentally got, oh, you know, it's interesting. We have <laughs> over here in greenhouse number two, we have in the water pipe network. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, never mind. It's got a little CO2 in there and a little O2. But, well, yeah. well but between the feeders, there is nothing. But after oh. the feeders, there is. So somehow, um, it's the, the same. Plants it's, are picking it. <laughs> I guess the feeders. Well, there's. The, oh, we're not growing anything because we've grown so much. So this purge valve is set to five kilopascals. That goes to an insulated uh, gas pipe. To so the pipes that we have over there, we need to make them insulated, I guess. So five kilopascals. This room uh, if they're indoors it doesn't matter but if they touch an outside wall then we need to swap it okay all right mm. yeah well, i think that the uh, valve needs to be set up yeah, like 14, like the electrocuter suggested here. Okay. Do you need anything while I'm out here? Nah, I'm good. All right, so here's what I'm thinking is gonna happen here. 
Right now the pressure is 9 kPa, right? But it's still uh, really, really cold. Uh, points, this is yeah. going to go up another 20 degrees. How long that's going to take? Don't know. Um, but when it does, hopefully the pressure will be closer to 14 or 15. At that point, the purge valve is going to kick in and remove the gases. So oh, until then, the gases are going to stay dissolved in the liquid. Right. Hang on, let me... Uh, why won't this cancel? Huh. All right, airlock broke. How many uh, liquid pipes do you have in there? Um... Hold on. Non installated? Yeah. 25. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, That's I got two, two insulated. All right. I got two more pipe heaters. Try to heat up the water a little bit. Here. Can you? Yeah, there you go. And one there. You know you're gonna blow fuse, right? Uh, well, uh, turn on one. See what happens. Yeah, one should be okay, but two, that's gonna blow fuse. Actually, uh, the heater is on a separate circuit. Uh, they should be. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Knock yourself out. Let's see what happens. So that one's on. They go up. Okay. Wait, we don't have anything sucking the liquid out of this room, do we? Because we removed that uh, liquid drain? Yeah, because it's constantly adding gas to... It was just like... I guess it's circulating. Um... Yeah, let's put the liquid drain back. Oh, all right. All right, I only do two. That was cool. I've never heard that noise before. That was the, uh, so we have a, the feed in here is buzzing away. <laughs> yeah, we have a, let me see what the transformer said. To Forty-eight hundred. That's it. Yeah. Five. That gives us enough. That was cool because generally you just see blinking lights. All right, so that won't do it because we have, see if I turn off a wall heater, that's what it was, All right? Oh, they are on the same network, yeah. Yeah. So, um, that's back. So the pressure the purge valve is set to 15 kPa. Um, Lecture said right. 14. Yeah, 14, 15. Okay. Um, water is leaving the room. Okay, the... So the the pipe pressure is 76.2 kilopascals. So what is this 14 kp? Is that for what network? Though I'm confused. Uh, I read up on the uh, Dictionpedia. Uh, yeah. It's the pressure on the input side. So it's the pressure on the liquid side. Which is currently so 76. What it does is, if the pressure is higher than what it's set to then it's going to start removing gases. The higher the room temperatures, the higher the pressure will need to be. So we want it cooler in here then. Right? Um, what? Lecture says the higher the room temp, the higher the pressure will need to be. Oh, yes. So if we make this room cooler, 
But right now it's 20 degrees Celsius. Yeah, but our target's to make it 30, isn't it? It is, but I, I'm just trying to fix this thing. 15 kPa should be somewhere right around 25 degrees Celsius. Oh, all right. Well, it's currently 20 degrees Celsius. So we still have water in the room, but it's leaving. Um, yes, yes it is. All right, so, um, so what are we, what are we waiting for, Ben? I'm. I'm yeah, we're waiting for the um, temperatures to balance out. Um, we're basically waiting for the water to heat up to room temperature, which oh, I see. Should okay. both be at thirty Celsius. All right. So if I if I bring the room temperature down closer to eighteen, right? Because if the water temperature is eighteen point seven, which should be going up because of the heaters. Yeah. And then the room temperature is currently 19.7. So if I turn on the wall cooler. Um, you don't need to do that. Okay. I'm, I'm just trying to accelerate the process. No, no. It, when I say we're waiting for both the room and the liquid to reach 30 Celsius, I'm assuming that that's the target temperature for this room. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, but oh, I see, I see. Okay, so we we want the room to be warm and the the fluid to catch up to the thirty. That's gonna take a while. But we're just hoping for the liquid to catch up to the room, whatever the room is set to. It right, doesn't matter is, what it's set to. All right, the room is at nineteen point five right now. I'm reading the liquid as nineteen point two. Okay, now the room is nineteen point six. Um. Electra says 15 kPa should be somewhere right around 25 degrees Celsius. So what needs to be 25 degrees Celsius? The water, the room, or both? Both? Both. All right. All right, so we need to heat up the room and the water to about 15 kPa, or uh, 25 degrees Celsius, right? Yep. All right. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, mayday, mayday. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so I have one heater on. I thought if yeah. I lowered the room temperature down to the temperature of the water, that was going to accelerate the process. No, no. All right. Uh, or maybe he will need it at 16 or something like that when it reaches 30 degrees Celsius. Well, we'll shoot for the 25 first since that's closest. And the water temperature is, it's getting there. Station speed is All not. Right, I set the purge valve back to 15. Okay. Okay, so the water is still leaving the room. Okay, there's no more water in the room. Yep, I'm reading that. The okay, room temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. Boy, this is this is hard. <laughs> this is not fun. I know. Because this purge valve might be set to fifteen, but um I'm not quite sure what it's doing. All right, room temperature is at 21.6, water temperature's at 20. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, it's hard because there are missing some parts. All right, all right. Purge. Purge valve 
allows for removal of pressurant gas and evaporated liquids from a liquid pipe. Similar function to a back pressure regulator, purge valve moves gas from the liquid pipe to output gas pipe. All right, so that's, we have it set up right. I understood that correctly. Right, and it should say that the setting is. Oh. Um, doesn't have an actual setting. Just shows how much power it has. What? I thought there was a chapter on that. I'm looking at the purge valve now. That was on the water. Yeah, at the end of that first paragraph there, it says move gas from the le input liquid pipe to the output gas pipe, aiming to keep the pressure of the input at the target setting. Oh, okay. I thought you were looking for a specific. Right. So you turned off um, by Peter? Uh, one of them, yeah. Um, I can go outside and um, change the settings on your logic over there. Okay. <clears throat> or, uh, yeah, okay. So, um, 18 on the low side, 22 on the high side? Sure. Yep. All right. Because right now it's uh, coming up on 25 degrees Celsius. 24.5 right now. All right, the room is at 25 degrees Celsius. The water temperature is 21.2. Oh, I've got heater. blinking logic That's here. Right. I, over. Okay. I turned off a wall heater. All right. 24.9 degrees in here. Okay, it's getting cooler. Oh, the uh, wall cooler kicked on too. So, okay, hold on. something obvious here we want to cool oh uh, i've got the logic numbers flip all right stand by <laughs> okay it's hard these years is hard Heater's off, but we're cooling the room. Is that what we want to do? Right, because right. we want it to be 20, right? And okay. It's 25 right now. All right. Uh, okay, so water temperature is 22. 
Okay, you can turn off the water heater then. Right. Water heaters are off. I think there's a radiator that connects to water pipe, isn't there? There is. Oh, that would accelerate yeah, we... the water. Yeah, do I have one in here? Uh... Well, it would be a passive way to keep the water temperature right. uh, closer to the room. Yeah, I'm going to have to print you one, aren't I? Oh, I got one. Do I want to use the convection or the other one? Um, what are the types exactly? There's convection radiator or, oh, I, I'm sorry. There's just one pipe radiator. Never mind. Is that the right one? Yeah, there's an atmosphere, so it's convection. That's fine. All right, pipe temperature 22, room temperature 22.8. Uh, it'll balance out yep. over time. Oh, that's right, because the other one, the convection you want to do when there's no atmosphere like, oh no, that doesn't make sense. So if there's no atmosphere out there, am I using the right radiator out there? This, this yellow one? Um, that's a, uh, that's a what now? Well, it, I'm just trying to make sure I've got the right radiator in here versus outside. Yeah, yeah, I think you might want to swap out the one inside. Okay. All right. All right. I don't know what I'm... That looks funky. Oh, it's water one. Okay, water temperature. So the convec convected is going down in numbers real fast, too. So that's good. Cooling. That's going to cool the water. Room temperature is 22.1. Yeah, they and... should get closer and closer to each other now. Okay. Except for we have heaters and. AC on. Okay, they they just. I think they're fighting for the temperature. What it is. All right. Room is twenty two dot one. It's actually twenty two, and the pipe is twenty two. Oh, I still don't have those darn settings right. Hmm. <sighs> Room temperature, 22.1 degrees Celsius. Pipe temperature, 22. <clears throat> All right, so convection radiators are for when you have pressured gas environment. All right, again. So I'm using the right ones in here. The other one's for vacuum. All right, so that's for vacuum, so I got that right. And this one is is right because we have an atmosphere. Thank you. Right. You okay, can just remember how convection works with... Uh... Oh, a convection oven. Right, okay, I got you. I'm sorry, Ben, you said something? Uh, I think I finally sorted out the logic on the uh, All right. heating and cooling there. All right, so the cooler's on, room's 22. Pipe is 22. Um, there's still gas in the pipe. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that little quantity of gas, though. As okay. long as the pressure is not unreasonable, fine. Uh, okay. All right, well, then uh, I guess we're good. Does that mean when we drink from oh, here, it's glad we could sort that out? 
Well, I guess I I really don't understand. I mean, we sucked out the steam, but it put those elements back into the pipe. Um, so O2, it's got, yeah, 0.9%. Hardly any And I would really want to try to add a planter to that liquid line, see what it does. Okay. <laughs> so if I open this up, I'm safe. If I drink the water, we're good. All right. All right, so I, I guess I was making a stink over that there should be no gases in the water line. I, I guess that was a, a moot point. Yeah, honestly, that's part of what the devs are doing. That's still a bit of a mystery to me. Okay. Is it, you know, there's always dissolved gases in water, like, you know, nitrogen. Right. Um, and oxygen, because otherwise we wouldn't have fish. Oh, that's true. All right. All so, right, so... Yeah, it's like what their intention was, I have no idea. All right, so let's let's walk over and see how our because you got to still finish the gas expansion. Yeah, I still have to fix the display too for the generators. That works. All right, now that we've fixed the cooling recirculation thingy. Our temperatures. All right, so CO2 is very warm, 175 degrees. Why is that? Okay, oxygen is up to 40 degrees Celsius. What was our average at? You remember? Huh? Nope. All right. Well, we have very little. Okay, let me do this. Transfer whatever's in the poopy line. To explain, in the game, liquid always has a pressure of zero, which didn't always used to be a thing, if I remember correctly. So you need some gas to have pressure in the pipe. Oh, oh, okay. All right, just like in real life. Okay, I, I, I get that now, yes. You have to have some pressure, like 70 PSI to, to push, got it. All right, nitrous oxide is 88 degrees Celsius. Watch, next month the devs are gonna come up with a hydraulic update to where you can have pressure in the liquid without a gas. And then we'll have hydraulic actuators where you can make your own machines. All right, CO2 temperature is going up because we're filtering some new gases. Um, I um, kind of made a boo-boo, uh, the oxygen tank top side is actually directly connected to the oxygen tank below. What? The two tanks are connected. Well, they've always been connected. No, I mean the big, big tank. Oh, 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 oh I got you. Down here. Oh, oops, okay. Uh, it's actually connected through the circulation pump, which is you don't want that. A weird. Yeah. All right. I have him uh, temperature readings down here for the average of all tanks. And what what were we set that to? I forgot. Well, right now the reading is three hundred and ninety-two Kelvin, which is about a hundred Celsius. Um, we have it set to keep cooling it until it hits 30. Hold on. Three Oh three. So 30. All right. So it's going to take a long time these gases to balance them out because of the phase change i suspect right well we're still having to do some work on uh, the um common line here for the heat exchangers because that's the messed up okay all right Okay, 
So I'm going to go ahead and just purge the uh, common line here um, completely. Okay. And um, we'll refill it with O2 since we have abundant quantities of O2, apparently. We do. And, um, and it should be care of the problem. Okay. So instead of using X, which is a problem, right? We want to use O2. Yeah. Okay. Dirty right. work around, but we'll take right. it. Now, are you going to just fill it from the line here? Uh, yeah, I'm going to move okay. this setup that I have over here over okay. to the oxygen area. Gotcha. the grading floor, it won't line up with the ladder do you require assistance well I, I guess I forgot how to rotate stuff uh, oh right floor grading uses different controls for a rotation all right all right I got it got it that's the way I want it though that's upside down Yeah, that's what I was doing. I thought that the grading, though, okay, that that gives the right. Oh, I don't. Know. All right. That just looks like it's upside down. It is. Those vents should point up. They, they mess up the vent. All right, so. Doop, 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 doop. All right, then that catapults up there. Rotate, rotate. There's no. No way to flip. Oh. All right, I got it. I got it. I'm fine. There we go. I fixed it. It's good. It's still the whole thing. All right. That used to be the only way you could rotate things. You had to use the page up, page down, and stuff like that until they added the C which I completely forgot about. I even used page up, page down because it was always, you know, easier. All right. 
Um, Um, I'm not detecting any gas in the common line here. Right, right there. And you're, you're, well, there was. Just wondering if there's a chance if there was a burst, uh, burst pipe up there. Um, let's see here. I don't see any burst pipes doing anything, and I see pressure in all the tank, uh, displays okay i'll run a perfect test then and we'll see what happens yeah um there's nothing in the gray line as i call it where'd it go So oh, that used to be filled with oxygen, and then I accidentally dumped loot into it. All right, it's filling with oxygen now. Oh wait, stop, stop! There are burst pipes in the. Uh, oh, okay, that's what the... I thought. Yeah. Yeah, it's not holding pressure. Go oh, it's okay now. Nope, nope. They're still broke. Hang on. I don't have the right pipes. Oh, yeah, still losing pressure. Yep. Hang on. Yeah, no worries. Just a little quantity. It's 120 kPa. It's 10 moles of O2. It's nothing. So it's filling in from there. Okay, so now it should be maintaining. Um, nope, still losing. Um, I don't see any other brakes. I'll inspect it from below here. Um, I see the pressure increasing up here, the radiators. Yep. Oh, is it just uh, our overpressure system here is kicking in? Oh, is it? So I, I connected all the radiators now. Um, I don't know. That's the problem I ran into um, when I loaded up the save. The CO2 lines have all burst because of temperature, and I come down here, and all these pipes were busted, and there was, oh, of course, there was no gas. So this is this evaporator's on. Oh, oh okay. Then we. So if we get a liquid in here because it gets too cold, this should grab it and then make return it back into a gas. Should. All right, there's still losing O2. Uh, I see it going up. 18.9, 19. What are you reading? The pipes up here where the radiators are. Yeah, but what's the number you're reading? Kilopascals. Uh, don't look at the pressure. Look at the mole. All right. 
Oh, uh, it is. It's going down your right. But it's yeah. um. Okay, I'm gonna shut off the uh, digital valve here. Okay. If it lets me. Okay, I got the valve shut off. Now let's see. It's getting colder. Moles are going down faster. Pressure's going down. Moles are going down faster. Okay, that's a hint. Oh, weird. Moles are. The... Yeah, I don't see the Whopping tank. back and forth between 14 and 14.5. I'm guessing that's because of the circulation pump. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to say there's no bursty pipes up here. It's a technical term, bursty. Oh. So how could you be losing moles of gas? We're having gas problems. Yeah, there's a pill for that, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so you have the big tank is still hooked up here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's got 69 little pestles of mole. That's just a direct line, though. So, okay, and that's still connected. That connects up here. Since this isn't actually neat, I'm gonna shut down the purge valve and the condensate condensation valve up here. Okay. Which one? I'm stuck. Um. Oh. Still losing moles. We got a leak somewhere. A mystery leak. The worst kind. Well, I tell you what, let me take a very direct approach here. Disconnect. We only got one radiator connected now. Alright, stable at 2.2 .2 moles. Shouldn't it be going up? Number of moles is supposed to be the same. Okay. So the entire network is completely shut off. The digital valve down there that right. turns on the cooling is, oh, okay. is closed. So if we uh, turn the, that back uh, on, that should add, right? No, that's going to add to this no, network this, here. The quantity of gas is going to stay the same. Okay. So The pressure how, and temperature might vary, but the quantity should not. How are you adding to the network then? That, that was my question. Um, by the heat exchanger on the O2 line, oh, I see. there's an extra pump. Uh, that pump, yep, on the other side. That's the circulation pump. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's on the other side. Right, I see. So that O2 would add to the gray line. And so right now the gray line is empty. Mm, it should have something in it, but it's minimal. It's just for testing. All right, so O2 has got 7.6 moles in it. And so if I turn on this uh, one pump, that should start filling it. Yep. All right. So what should it be at? Um, somewhere between 300 kPa and 1 megapascal. All right, I'll take it halfway. So 650. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, I got 660. Yep, spot on. All right, so 666. <laughs> right, it's coming down. Yeah, because the temperature is shifting okay. a lot. Right, so. so now that's only one radiator connected. Do we want to just run the one right now? Honestly, I don't think it matters a whole lot, but uh, ultimately we want all of them connected, yeah. Okay. 
So my question is now is the now that we have a coolant and it's circulating, we should see temperatures coming down, right? Well, it's not circulating because right now I've got a manual override on it, but oh, I can turn it back on here. Yeah, go ahead and turn that valve back on, would you? All right, it's back on. All right, so I'm seeing drops in temperature. Nice. Um, oxygen is 47. Not too warm. So I think what happened is that when we, when something went haywire and the uh, CO2 temperature went through the roof, that was raising the temperatures because we didn't have any coolant. Now that we have coolant. Yeah, because that pipe section was missing from the interchange, okay. the heat exchanger. So, okay. yeah, it broke everything. Yes, because of one missing pipe section. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, sorry, Electro, I didn't see your message. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hook up the other radiators. Is that okay? Sorry? I'm going to hook up the rest of the radiator network. Yeah, yeah, go for it. All right. And there we go. All right, moles are going down. Probably because hooked up all these radiators yep all right all right so that makes sense so i'll wait till they all till they all get their okay all right oops okay I'm about to connect the uh, CO2 tank to the big right. one here. All right. I increased the pressure. It's going down because the radiators are kind of, you know, drawn from one, drawn to the next, drawn. To the, they're, it's like a weird silly straw effect, you know? Yeah. All right. So you're doing the CO2? Yep. CO2 switched over. All right. So pressure's dropping all right guys i'm gonna take a quick bio break i'll be right back
All right, I'm back, guys. I'm back. Let me get the game back on and been back in the game. All right. So, um, CO2 temperature, um, should be coming down, right? Because, um, pressure, uh, the pressure is going down. Why isn't the temperature going down? I'm so confused. The CO2 tank? Yeah. Um, It's staying constant. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. It finally dropped. But that was weird. I don't understand that. All right. All right. So there's the generator's not on. So we're not pumping any CO2 in there. That's good. Yeah, it's still pretty hot, isn't it? Yeah. Um, could be residual from because that was the one that got the hottest. The uh, common line here is reading 55, uh, and the target is 50, so cooling is still on right now. Okay. Common line pressure dropped to 490, though, so I'm going to pump in a bit more O2. Okay, all right, all right. That was probably because all the additional radiators that I apply enabled all of them. Let's read it. Let's see. Um, the moles are seven. <laughs> well, wait a minute. That's weird. Uh, 29 at the first one and 34. That's so weird. Why in the middle is it? S no, it's not. So the radiators themselves, their moles average out about almost the same, but the pipes in the middle, or the pipes are like minimal. Does that, does that sound right? Yeah, the because the pipe capacity now is very tiny. Oh, you're right, you're right. Sorry, I was just looking at the, at the number. So evidently I was not getting right on the pipe, but still the pipe is 2.51 moles there. That one's 27, two. Wow, that's got quite the capacity, doesn't it? Seven, all right. So it, it's fairly consistent because pipe capacity has changed versus the device is what you're saying, the radiator. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, okay. And, but, but uh, uh, Electro's Correct. I jet packed in and there was some residual nitrogen I picked up also because I thought, well, that's really low. And that was the nitrogen. So the digital valve is on because the logic is looking at the average and we're still way above that, right? Which is being on well it's set to um what's it set to again 25 well, uh let's see i'm i'm looking at a batch reader but i'm trying to find where's the memory trip you're using for an average yeah it should be right where you are oh there it is sorry yep 303 all right so 303 so that's 30, 84 above yeah 30 celsius and we're at 55 celsius on the right so it's common line Oh, that's actually a setting you can do on the batch reader. I didn't know you could do that. All right. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So the batch reader's doing all the work. You're not doing all this hard math somewhere. Okay. Oh, hell no. <laughs> okay. So the batch reader's looking for the average of all the tanks that are connected. Yeah. And you do a standard compare and we'll say, hey, if it's above, right, if it's greater than 303, turn on this digital valve valve cooler <laughs> okay all right yeah so do you think the only thing that's wrong with this setup is that it doesn't account for 
for example, we might have like 600 moles of O2, but maybe six moles of nitrous oxide. Oh, I got you. Yeah. So oh, it that, doesn't compensate for that. It doesn't look at each individual tank as the quantity versus. I yeah, I would have to add a uh, um, quantity multiplier for the each of the temperature reading to make up for it. But I was okay. like, oh, it's got time for that. That's what I was mentioning the last time about the ghost of Jeep guy haunting me here because he would insist that I do this. Right, because Jeep guy does everything with moles. But he fills up his tank by moles too. Um, all right, so Electri, did you say, and or maybe I misread that, did you say there was a different way that filters can be hooked up to be, because this is the old school way of having it hooked up. I believe this is parallel. So I'll tell you what, if something would just stay the same for a couple of years, I might actually learn something. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. I haven't checked there yet. And I'm still missing with this. So I want. All right. Uh, so about the only thing productive I did was, um, made sure that we have passive cooling on site B. That's the only thing productive I've done all day, except for repair some pipes. Well, you'll have to learn about the uh, gas in uh, liquid pipes. Well, okay, that's weird. So, all right. What's the temperature? All right, so the the heat is still manual over here versus the cooling being passive. And uh, so, so next time, uh, now that I have the water and the radiator over here, we'll see about heating up the water and then using passive for heating. That should be interesting. Otherwise, we're about at that time there, uh, Ben. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got two more pipe sections to put in here. Oh, right, yeah, no problem. Now we're still using more power um, and the gas generator can't, doesn't seem to keep up. Now maybe when we leave site A and we're, we're not constantly doing things. So I've turned off two drills see if we can reduce the power drain and it seems like my timing is right on so two drills I think three drills is what the centrifuge, the gas centrifuge will be able to keep up. Or it can't keep up. All right, all the big tanks are connected. Cool. I have one more dirty ore that it's processing. Not that I, I don't think we were getting really low on, I think maybe, let's see here. This is our iron. 
35. Oh, what is this one? This one is copper. Copper is always very low. We only have four gold. Now, copper and gold seem to be the really hard ones to get a lot of from the miners for some reason. Maybe not. It looks like iron is the one that's always in abundance. Yeah. All right. That's silver. All right. Silver, we got very little. All right. When first learning phase stuff, it needs a ton of power until you can poke at it enough to figure out, oh, I got you. Okay. Well, I, I know that, and this is me just not being knowledgeable, is that when, before the phase change, trying to equalize temperatures with the the uh, exchanges, I, I, I grasped onto that. And then all of a sudden after the phase change, it seems like they barely do anything now. So we had to put bend system in which is a, a turbo pump per, so there's a turbo pump, a volume pump per, so there's more power there being consumed to circulate it faster. Now these are directly connected with no logic to where if uh, we get to a certain point. Big tanks. What is your favorite waffle? Blazing code 84, thanks for that follow. Oh, Ben. Uh, yep. The, uh, the big tanks are just directly connected with no logic to, uh, Correct, small... yes. okay. All right. All right, cool. Gives us just a little lead off then. And what is my favorite waffle? Man, I'm so glad you asked. Waffles. Oh, there, that's my favorite waffle. I haven't had waffles for two weeks. Jeez. Something is inherently wrong. All right, and then we had this whole discombobulation about gas and pipe and pipe or gas and, okay, so these haven't burst, yay. That's a plus. I'm gonna pop in there and see what the temperature is. Oh, Hunger, caution. that's not the door. <laughs> I tried to go through the window. Grapes are greater than waffles. Yes, yes they are. But I don't have the finesse to create grapes. I don't. All right, so we have the room The room temperature is at 22 degrees. All right, so that's fine. Everything works. Yay. Is there any food here? Oh, there is. We have tomato soup. <clears throat> Good meat. There we go. All right, so <clears throat> I would love to say I will see you guys tomorrow, but I can't with 100% confidence because I got to wait until about six o'clock my time to call to see if I'm going to be on jury duty. So I will post something in Discord and on Twitter. Wait for Ben to come over here and uh, get inside his closet. Oh, I'm so used to doing it. That, 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 Are you over there? That's fine. If you're there, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, I'll just wait here. All right, that's fine. Better chair. Yes. It's more comfortable. I get it. The only thing is you died once because for some reason the temperature, the, the logic for keeping it cool stopped. So it's like part of my punch list. I have to go through and check and make sure everything works. All right, Ben, All right, I'll see you good. next Sunday. Yes. All right, guys. Also see you guys hopefully tomorrow. So let's roll some credits here real quick. Do 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 credits.
Uh, Blazing Code, thanks for the follow. Elfie 18 and FX Editor, thank you so much for the resubs. FX, that was 45 months, and Elfie was 65 months. Nice. All right, later, guys. I'm out of here. <laughs>